Hey, Justin. What's up? Is this your place? This is the place. Want a tour? Yes, very much so. I've seen the spray paints and the holes in the walls and I think a trap door. There is a trap door. And that's all in this house. It's all in the house. I'm very lucky to have a job that has me just do silly things to the house. Come on in. Let's see it. What's this place worth? Uh, it's not for sale. I couldn't afford it. Uh, if you were to sell it now, it'd probably be about $2 million, but the people who would put the value on Zillow do not know about the trap door. Oh, which, right. Naturally. Yeah, it's, it's tough. Tough. tough for a realtor. Okay, so this is the courtyard. This is the boring part. Everything gets exciting when you go inside. Very cool. I saw you put that in. Welcome to the Flom Pound. This is where we start to have some fun. Nice, you have a stage. Every house needs a stage. I used to have a theater in Branson, Missouri where I did a little magic show. That's the curtain from that theater nice. 15 years ago. The marquee is from an old merry-go-round in That's Butte, cool. Montana. Ah, I've seen the Studebaker sign, your last video with the window. So I love old cars. I have a 1951 Studebaker. It's burnt orange, it's cool. It is from the comedian, Amazing Jonathan. Uh, and so, still got the car, the sign. Jonathan is no longer with us, but still a big fan. And there's the window you put in with the Muppets. So here's the deal. Every house needs some Muppets because you need to be kept humble. These guys are gonna heckle whoever is <laughs> on stage. And uh, this is really cool, I love this. This was hanging in Jerry Lewis's office when he passed away. Uh, Jerry Lewis, another great comedian, and an even cooler comedian in the portrait, Stan Laurel, of the famous comedy duo, right. Penn and Teller. <laughs> Laurel and Hardy. And then the desk is, so I'm a huge fan of Late Night, and uh, the best late night host to ever do it, Johnny Carson, mm -hmm. to me he invented it. Underneath him, you get Jay Leno and then David Letterman, my opinion. But this is from 1960 to 1963 when Johnny had it. It's not the real desk, that's in the Smithsonian. But I did have a guy from Hollywood build me an exact replica. And you're a Coke fan? Uh, no, I'm clean for years. But uh, <laughs> the Coca-Cola sign says Mind Reader because every once in a while I am still a magician. Which brings me to a very important thing about the house. Coca-Cola machine, if it's in the house... It has to work. Ooh. So this is a Cavalier, which is the only Coke machine from the 50s that has a cool light up thing. And then you can pull out your beverage of whatever you, excuse me, um, want. Mm -hmm. Then the cool thing is Coca-Cola hired me to do an international ad campaign where we did no camera tricks, just magic tricks. Uh, but And water, are you no caffeine either? Or? No, let's do the coffee bar. Oh, nice. This is the coffee cove. More importantly, this is Anna. Hey, Anna. Watch how Hi. good the, the pressure's on. Oh, do, oh, it, no. do it really good. The, do it really good. We've got a coffee uh, area here, which is, yeah. Ooh, something yeah, like I that. did it. Sorry. Uh, so this is where we spend a lot of times in the morning. Uh, if you have any need for prime pickled tongues, oh. we have it here. No, thanks. There's cool things like this. <laughs> like this is an old showbiz guy from Vegas. Carl Carsoni, look at him, he's balancing on a bottle on his finger. Whoa. As a magician, I'm obsessed with this because either he's doing it for real or he's using trickery. We do a lot of silly videos, pie in the face type stuff. That's the inventor of the pie in the face. Doc. Type. Yes, but secret passageways. That's what people want to see in this house tour. I'm going to show you one of like four of our secret nice. passageways. Don't die in this house. There are a couple opportunities to do that. Bookcase. Yes. Maybe you saw us I remember this. There's a lot of silly <laughs> things about uh, Gosh, what's, what's. Don't. Nope. Don't that, worry about oh, that. Okay. What's more important is this guy. You broke this. Uh, I have broken a few. This is my fourth statue. Oh, no. So it's not the real uh, statue. But the cool thing is, is I've got it set up so that right here, bag of sand, just like Indiana Jones and Raiders of the Lost Ark, mm -hmm. uh, you have to remember the movie, opening scene. He comes up to the statue, empties out some sand this and then he tries to switch uh, go quickly, quickly. Yeah, yeah, did you do quickly. it no uh, oh. it always opens up uh, when you do that and this is the magic shop you have to be careful because there's scary things <laughs> I remember in him the corner uh, but here's what's cool if you come in here there's a whole bunch of different magic things that you can do Let me put that guy right there uh, and the, the rule the rule is everything is ready to work like an old box like this I love this you just push this little knob boop 
I hand you uh, <laughs> that. That got me banned from TikTok for a long time. Really? Uh, yeah, they don't like uh, those things. Uh, or uh, there's mirror boxes in here. Uh, the trick kind of gives away the name of the trick. Kind of gives away the uh -huh. method. Uh, but here we'll do one. We'll do this guy right here. Ooh. Look at this. See? I'll step out so you can see. And we'll close that. There's another secret entrance into that that we'll see in a second. Uh, but this is just a fun magic trick that you can see. Uh, if we pull, yeah, can you just reach out and pull yeah, that knob right there? It. Yeah, just. I am so sorry. That was an antique. And that's all that thing does. Okay. Really? Really quick, come over here because these are my favorite things to do when people come over to the house. My dad collected antiques. Anna, I'm gonna need you for this. Oh. Come on over here. Uh, so the first antique is this. This is uh, from my hometown of Minneapolis. It's from early 1900s. Takes a penny and it's a strength tester. You put the penny in and then you see what you can do. Whoa. On how, yeah, I know. My right hand's stronger like than my left hand points. for some reason. Okay, you ready for this? Um, are we competing? I mean, that's yeah. ridiculous. No, you can, you can do it. And while you show them that. Oh, go, go. Oh. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> right, so that's a cool string tester, all made of iron. This is an even Whoa. older one, is this made me? of wood. Okay, that's now old. Anna knows this bit, but it's still one of my favorite bits, and we do have to show everybody okay. the bit. So sure. what you're gonna do, you're gonna step on those, she knows this, but you step on the knobs, and you see how much back strength you have. Yeah, come over to an angle, Cut. right over like that. Yeah, back up just a little bit. Yeah, perfect. And pull. Oh! oh. <laughs> okay. So it looks like it's a strength testing machine. This is an old prop from a company called DeMoulin Brothers. Now they make marching band uniforms, but back in the day, they made paint, uh, pranks that would spank you. How old and is that? that? One, this one is over 100 years old. This is probably 1890 something, and that stays right here. The other one that we can do. Oh, the love tester. Is a love tester. Anna, we want to see how good you are. Oh, that's oh, classic. Gosh. I think I don't get the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's Where's not a good sign. Oh. Cold fish? Did you... Oh, you put the like, quarter in. You gotta put a quarter in it. So the quarter goes in like that. You give it a squeeze. Let's see. Hot stuff, Ooh. Right. can confirm. <laughs> so, uh, that's a very fun thing, but the phone booth in the corner is what I like. Okay, here, come on over here. Nice. Right, um, let me, I'm gonna show you this. Let me see that. Okay. Keep, it in, keep it in wide like that. Got it. Wait, <laughs> where'd you go? Hey, Justin? I'm in here. What? There's no way. Yeah, oh, open it. I am. What? There you go, thanks. Okay. That did not happen. No, it didn't. Come over here, jukebox. I'm gonna show you this jukebox, but mostly I want you to get a close-up shot of all of the... This is a Seaberg R, 1954. Take a look at the songs. I uh, really love all of the music I put in here. Uh, just some of my favorite stuff. Andy Williams and Prince, maybe get my top spot, but we can select anything. So let's do a little bit of uh, Hotel California C3. The cool thing is it'll go over, boop, it'll select it, it'll pull that record into place and start playing it. Uh, we're muting oh, the music. Yeah. No, we're muting the music. We do not have the rights to Hotel California. Uh, although, big Eagles fan and Joe Walsh uh, in particular. You know what, what is this is? No. What is this old chair? Okay, I can't have you sit in it, uh, but I will. Hey, Anna, we're going to show him the chair. Oh, man. I know, she hates the chair. Uh, here, go get uh, get on the other side so that you can uh, be in a good position. Can you see enough of it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, go ahead. Uh, I'm going to take this weird wire hanging out here. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to know what happens? Or should kind I just, of. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. When what happens? Well, so this is a DeMoulin Brothers chair. You remember just that? tell me. Give yeah, me from the that. spanking machine. Yes. So this is the same sort of thing. Uh, oh, my goodness. Are you okay? It's fun, right? <laughs> Why does it go bang like that? Here's what we found. Uh... We have found that it's not interesting <laughs> or funny 
unless it goes bang. When it when the chair flies back with no bang, this is from experience, uh, people just think they broke your antique chair. <laughs> so I only know of four of these in existence right now. Uh, there's a magic collector named Mike Caveney has one. The magician Amazing Jonathan had one before he passed away. And then David Copperfield. Uh, what's fun is none of those people use it actually the way that it is meant to be used, like as a prank. Maybe Mike does, but I think it's just too, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, it's a great prank. It stays right there, all set up to do again. Let me show you behind the bar. Ooh. Love this photo. Uh, just a couple cool frames. Oh, Hang on. Yeah, sorry. This is a... Hello? Ah. <laughs> Classic. It's a Rick Roll, okay? I can't play the music on YouTube uh, and have you see that, but it is pretty cool. Uh, here, this is an awesome old change machine. Uh, name a number one to 100. 42. 42, check this out. If you hit 42 like that, it'll instantly spit out exactly 25, 30, 40, 41, 42, 42 cents instantly. That's cool. It's like a magic trick. Uh, there's another fortune teller back here. Uh, I love this photo, but it's nice because there's also... I remember this. The Hidden Willy Wonka. Wonka. Okay, yeah, yeah. We got, we got so much time, so little to do. Come over. Hey! Scratch that. Reverse it. Over here. I'm not going to make you use the bathroom with me, but oh. uh, one of my paintings. This makes it very fun for men to use the bathroom looking at her. Uh, big fan of, yes, uh, one of the greatest cartoon shorts of all time. Uh, love the music in that. Love all of it. And this is an old shot. Yeah, look at that. Uh, that is the illusion called Zigzag Lady, which has become a classic. Yeah, there's no, there's, there's, there's no plaque there. But it's David Copperfield. Come on over here. Uh, more important than uh, bathroom stuff and all of that is what I call the horse room. Uh, so this room, you can also call it the Iron Man room because of upstairs. Oh, I remember the ceiling painting. Yeah, so if oh, you did, go into wide, okay. you can actually be in exactly, yeah, look at that. It looks like it's exactly uh, that in is that cool. position. Which is fun. These are old slot machines from Las Vegas. Oh. This one takes a dime. It's called a Roman head. Big money, Pop. big money. Pop. Hey, awesome, thank you. Yeah, that was my winnings. Uh, and then this one is a Mills high top five cent nickel. Uh, this one was probably in one of the casinos that Steve Wynn owned. Whoa! Uh, yeah, Steve Wynn casinos don't pay out quite as much. Uh, and then there's this guy. The cool thing is it's quarter horse. Uh, this was given to me by my parents when I was two years old. It's my dad's first coin operated antique. And uh, now it's here. Uh, Look at that. Fun, right? What's its name? What's the horse's name? Yeah. Right. He's in the desert. The horse does not have a name. Uh, okay. We've got a lot to see. So what's the next thing that you want to see? Do we the want to tunnel see? of doors. Tunnel of doors. Come this way. Uh, lots of cool things. I will say we've got the studio light set up because we're about to do uh, <laughs> Dinner? a turkey video. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> this refrigerator behind us right here is a new refrigerator. There was a time when that refrigerator was paper. Ah, uh, I remember the stairs. It was, a, it was a whole thing. Okay, over here, there's... No, no, don't oh, look at oh, the oh, fireman's oh. pole just oh, okay. yet. We're going to come through here, watch out, all the way to the tunnel of doors. This was an idea I had. I thought it was a crazy thing. You're probably going to go have to have to go into wide angle for this guy. I took a coat closet and I wanted people to be able to come and open the coat closet like this. Uh, yeah, are you in wide angle? Yep. Like I said, this was the coat closet <laughs> and I thought, wouldn't it be funny if there was a door and you open it up and immediately inside there was another door? Right. Uh, take a look, this is some pretty cool hardware here. Just, uh, oh yeah, feel free, open it up, shake his hand. <laughs> and then you can see that's fun. This is what it's would so happen soft. if a Muppet were a door uh, and you can actually make him oh. sad, make him angry. Oh. This is a Rolling Stones phone. 
Uh, I super glued in the phone so it's not gonna be used as a phone anymore. And these eyeballs are just dryer balls, but there's a finger there. See if you can see. Pull it? Yeah, pull my finger. <laughs> so dumb. Look at that. Brick wall. Okay, that is not the end, of course. I've seen this one. Yep. Here we go. Pull that brick. And a safe. Yeah. Okay, you want the code? Yeah. Four. Four. Two. Two. Zero. Six. Okay. Nine. Pound. Four, two. Don't even worry about it. Okay. Just turn that, open it up. What is this Playland? So what I wanted was a place where I could have all of the guns and things that I had when I was a kid. Like this guy. <laughs> I had one of those. Why is it always those sounds? Like <laughs> still. <laughs> uh, some really great original Nerf. This was my favorite. Uh, oh, the crossbow, arrow. Yeah. Yep, all the cap guns, of course. Uh, super soakers, though. Big fan of super Classic. soakers. And uh, my main side piece, of course, was this six shooter right here. <sighs> Love this guy. Uh, in fact, even hang on, I'm just going to come right here. Nice. Yes. Daisy. The Red Red Rider. Rider. Uh huh. Yep. Uh, you put your eye out. How so does it work? Stay right there. Uh, this cool Alice in Wonderland door, do you have any idea what goes here? Uh, the playroom, the girls, like, clouds and... Or... Foam? Yeah, this is all foam. Uh, that's the foam booth. <laughs> Why? It's, it's just dumb joke. Okay. Keep going, keep going, we got lots to see. And cut. Nice. Keep walking straight ahead, you can pause and look to your left. Dean Martin, uh, obviously I'm a Rat Pack fan, but this is him filming his NBC show from his living room. I take great inspiration from that guy saying, I don't want to leave my house to film the cool stuff that I do. Now this looks like an ordinary bedroom, which it is, except for this guy right here. Tom and Jerry! This was our first huge hit of destroying just something. just left the hole. Uh, I don't know, it's a piece of... Art? I don't know. Okay. And then repurposing in the bathroom more pieces of that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, the merry-go-round is just slowly scattered all over the house with all the cool lights. But, gotta go upstairs. Upstairs, where there's more cool stuff. Dave Chappelle. Okay. Do you know what's upstairs? The trap door. Who told you there's a trap door? Show me the trap door, everyone. Okay, we will show you the trap door. Obviously, the trap door is upstairs because you gotta go through the floor somewhere. Makes sense. Uh, take a look at this. My man, Prince. Okay, so I am a Minnesota boy, lifelong, even though Las Vegas is now my home and will be for the rest of my life. Uh, this is the music wall in Minneapolis, and that's Prince before he was famous. And I'm starting my collection of typewriters here. You're gonna see a lot of typewriters. I love the vintage feel that, that they one? give. And the fact oh, that, that you one? can- Yes, you can do really, there's typewriters everywhere. Okay. Take a look at this. I remember this one. This one was kind of a paradigm shift in the video. It was really one of my proudest things because it involved my daughter drawing her own little Mickey and then us uh, turning it into this collaborative uh, piece of art. I really love it. Speaking of paintings, there's one down here, which was the fastest viral hit we've ever done. Oh yeah, Ooh. really quick. I love these typewriters, they are out. If you want a workhorse typewriter and you really want to use it, this is the guy that I'm actually, I do write letters on these things and it just feels amazing, if right? If it's out, it works. Uh, if it's out, it works. This is the best one. Tom Hanks, this is his favorite one. Uh, this is my favorite typewriter. I just think it's the most beautiful. Pretty. It's uh, I love the sounds they make. And then this one is an Underwood that doesn't work. Uh, but wait, wait, here's the deal. This painting here was the craziest painting uh, just in that it went to like 400 or 500 million in just three days. It was really wild. This guy lights up at night. It is a very fragile painting because some of this sheetrock is barely hanging on. Okay, ready to see the fire pole? Let's see the fire pole. So this is hotel room 1307. You can try to figure out the cool thing about that number, but it looks like a vintage hotel because we've got a vintage hotel elevator. Nice. Uh, it's a broken elevator. We've got uh, cool up and down and stuff like that, but uh, this indicator thing up here, but the gate opens up 
to show that our elevator is broken because there's no elevator. It's actually, uh, here, I'll show you this thing. I find my daughter's socks on the hands actually help you slide down it a little bit quicker. Nice. Pro tip. And it looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, what? Stop doing that. It's cool, right? Yes. That's the elevator. Let me show you some stuff here. There's Ooh, a cool Homer. shooter game right here. Yeah, I love this painting uh, and the cool frame. Also this guy. Again, the rule is these games. Oh, come on. Well, that one clearly doesn't work right. That was embarrassing. <laughs> I'm usually way better at it. We've got a Joe Frazier Muhammad Ali glove. Both of them. Trying to get these things working again because these are electrocuting machines. You put a penny in and they electrocute you. It's a real oh. thing we used to do for fun. Uh, this is the new one though. It's not new, it's old, it's from the 40s. You can Ooh. see in all the crazy mechanisms in there. That is cool. Are you ready? Check this out. Here they go. Come on, let's do it. Come on, go, go, go. Come go, on. Go, go, go. Come on. A little faster. Fine. Yes. And then, it, and then it pays you out uh, in here, which is pretty cool. Here, we'll take this nickel, old buffalo nickel, uh, and we can put that right in this guy. And this is another shooting game. Uh, I love this one because, hang on, let me see if we can just. There we go. Ooh. Ew. Yeah, I'm state trooper. You're much better at that Super one. Super trooper. Now this one's fun. This is one of the first examples of a pinball game. These were made illegal. Oh, bummer. So watch the marble, because it's actually going to go around the track like you're running a bases. Look at that. Home run all the way around, and oh, come on. Ow. Ooh, okay. okay. So, so it's a great game, because so there's another single. single. Come on, double. double. Got to run around third. Come on. Oh, out. Uh. So that's three outs there, and we're done. Bummer. But this, uh, so here's the cool thing about pinball games like this. Most of them were destroyed because the government thought pinball was gambling and trying to make kids gamble. It actually took until an expert pinballer took a pinball machine into court and proved that it's a skill, not gambling, not a game of chance, uh, which is pretty uh, amazing. So no uh, most of these were, uh, this dog here for a second. We have uh, Hi, buddy. a couple guesses to guess what this thing is. It's a light source. <laughs> oh man. That's not what I thought that was. No, this is a uh, Model T. Uh, Horror really? that was used in uh, movies back in the day. That's just a prop from a Foley studio. <laughs> That's awesome. That's great. Okay, another pinball, another baseball game. This one is awesome. This is called Pike's Peak. Okay, watch the way the mountain moves like this. See that? Okay, so you're turning the knob. And then they open so you've got to get the penny in there. Okay. And you've got to get the ball to go up the mountain like this. And you've got to do it precariously like this until it goes Whoa. all the way up. Okay. So you made that look easy. So this is the game I'm best at. I see that. I've spent way too much Ooh, time Oh, the on Joker. It. Uh, yes. You had the wires. <clears throat> I think Jack Nicholson is the best who ever did it. I was really happy with being able to make this piece of art come to life. This is a Frankenstein design that I did. I took a promo image from Batman, different hat, changed the color of his suit a little bit and a frame from the movie when he's about to hit the, uh, not the Batmobile out of the sky. What would the, what, what's the bat plane? Bat plane. Bat, bat plane. Yeah, it's a pretty easy name. This is a kicker catcher. So you got this knob, which is gonna the control catcher. your catcher. And then this guy is gonna kick it. Ooh, oh, oh no. Come on. Oh, There we go. Nice. So you catch it. And then you get to, oh, missed it. Come on. Nice. Like that, I get it back one more time. Lost. This That's one's good. really hard. This one's a little bit easier, same kind of thing. Uh, what this is, is you can put in a penny. I don't get to play with penny here. Nice. Nope. There we go. Nice. Nope. Come on. 
Nice. Nailed it. Hey, that was that was a uh, very lucky. Nope. All right, wow. not bad. Four no, out of five. Basketball's easy against that team. Uh, yeah. Look, everyone's white. Okay. So now, uh, trap door. Trap door. Okay. All right. Uh, well, first, let me show you. I'm going to cover up the uh, the naughty photo. Uh, this is an old uh, candy machine slash fortune teller where you can pull a knob and you can either get. Uh, a sexy photo from the 50s where you can end up with a guy walks into a doctor's office joke, a dirty joke, candy, candy, candy. Oh, candy. Uh, kid candy. That's not for kids. Uh, or a deck of cards. Check this out. You pull this out. You end up with a deck of cards. This is one I designed for, called the Joyrider deck. Or let's get you a dirty joke. Yeah. So it says this. Can you see that? Thank you for visiting the Flom Pound, a.k.a. the Flom Shelter, a.k.a. Justin's house. Uh, I was with a blind woman once, and she said, you're the biggest I have ever been with. And I said, ah, you're pulling my leg. Hey! <laughs> okay, come on over here. So, no cane? Okay, yeah. that's fine. You, so now, uh, the trap door is on this side of the house. Yes. You are going to get to see it. It's a, ooh, but first, let me show you this. This is an old movie player. If you look through this window, it'll actually show you. Yeah, see if you can zoom in a little bit. Oh, it's gonna try and focus here. I'll help you out, because it's gonna try and focus on this. But you can actually see, look at this inside. Oh, wow. It's a flip book. And what it's doing is it's showing the moon. It's the man on the moon oh, getting hit wow. on a rocket. Yeah. Trip to the moon. That is George Melies. Now, George Melies, you might know him from the movie Hugo, which was about his life. Now, he was a magician by trade, but then they came out with this film stuff and, and camera tricks was kind of his invention. People don't know this, but camera tricks, which are frowned upon now in magic, magicians are the ones who started it. The guy who invented pulling a rabbit out of a hat he was doing camera tricks for his audience. He would play film of him making a girl disappear or appear using camera tricks. Uh, that was David Devant. He started the Magic Circle in England. He used camera tricks. Wow. Uh, that was the thing. But George Melies, also a magician, just went full into filmmaking. The movie Hugo goes about him. It's great. Okay, check this out. That's We've got a whole bunch of movie. color marbles down there. Down here. This is a, a race. Okay. okay. Pick a color. Uh, yellow. All right, let's see how yellow does. Yellow's right there in the middle. They're all gonna go down. Oh no, yellow's bad. No, you think so, but look, here's the thing. All of a oh, sudden, oh, yellow yeah. is in what? the lead. What? You never know exactly how That's it's gonna so go. That's so crazy. I know, all right. That's a lot of fun. This one is the most frustrating game I have. Uh, all of these are from uh, very old. This one's probably from right after the war because it's mostly made of wood. If it's made before the war, it has a lot of iron and metal in it, which was not allowed when the war was going on because all that stuff went towards the war effort. But you've got these little marbles and you've got to try and get it up. Oh, I see what you're going for. So look at this, you can get it right there. Hang on. All right, now we're gonna get this. Last one, here we go. Dramatic. Listen, here's the thing. I will hear this game when I have guests over at the house. I will hear guests play this and ah, it's the most <laughs> frustrating one that we have. Uh, behind you, I'm a big Beatles fan. Um, and should know. Oh, very nice. Going down that fire pole, I absolutely ripped my shirt open. You definitely did. Okay, you ready for the trap door? Show me the door. Okay. You ready to see? Show me the trap door. So these are my daughter's rooms. There's more paintings and stuff in there, but I'm gonna give them some privacy. But this was once a closet and now trap door. There's a, a thing here in the floor. Let me, doesn't that look interesting? Nice. Right? How'd you build this? Uh, so that is a good question. Uh, it's the, Best kept secret on YouTube, how to build a trap door. Took a lot of trial and error. Speaking of error, wanna step what? foot right there right now? Error? Not particularly. Error in judgment. Oh no. This is safe? Ish. 
Yeah, Ish? sure. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, why does it creak like that? It creaks bad. Wait. Isn't that, okay. How many people have gone through this? At least a dozen. Okay, so here's the deal. Okay, you ready for this? No. Uh, are you in a wide angle? Can you see everything? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, make sure your finger's not on a lens there. All right. Okay, cool. Look at your feet. Oh, no. Yep. So, this has been a really fun tour. And I'm really grateful Wait. that you watched all of this if you're watching Are you queuing an outro scene? No, I'm not shooting an outro scene. This can't be the end, right? There's no. so much left yeah. on the timeline. We're not, we're not done. Yeah, show me all the other stuff. We haven't even been outside. Uh, yeah, there's Just, stuff outside. Yeah, let's you know, go look at that. No, a wonderful way to get outside. What? Listen. What? I just want to say it's no. really fun that this is the job that I get where I get to build I don't like silly the lever. things in the house. And yeah, the lever's good. The, the lever is Don't not, touch the lever. You don't have to touch the lever. It's comfortable. <laughs> oh, no. So here's the deal, buddy. Uh-huh. I just want to thank you for coming to the house. Yeah. Everyone's question in the comments. Have you read Oh, the, the comments? top comment. Everybody's been asking the same thing. They want to know how you built it and where does the trap door go? Yes. You could tell them if only you knew yeah. where the trap door went. Where does the trap door go? Would you like to find out? Well, you could tell me where the trap door goes. I could tell you. What's below here? Or I could show What's you. What's under this? I could show Wait you. Wait a minute. Listen, listen, here's the thing. I've got a lot of work to do. Yeah. And this has been a really fun house tour. I've enjoyed it. It's It's gone on a little too long. Oh, now, no. So if you could help me out. Yeah. And get out. Where does the trap door go? Okay, now that he's gone, I can show you the backyard. This is our jungle area where we've got a pretty cool setup for a hot tub. We built that ourselves actually, all out of planks of wood. You can do a cold plunge too, although I don't recommend that. Little pond area. I can also answer some of your questions that are the most commonly asked questions in the comment section. Uh, so pool area, backyard. Let me show you some of the fun circus toys that we keep in the backyard at all times, just in case we want to do it. So we live in Las Vegas. I'm married to Anna. She lives across the street. That's right. Uh, she's got her place across the street. I got my place here. All right, let's see if I can do this. Ah, so we do a lot of little weird circus things here in the backyard. I am previously married and it's confusing because sometimes you'll see a video uh, of my previous wife. I have two absolutely amazing kids who are about to turn four years old and seven years old. This is a giant upside down ring. You can ride this thing upside down in the backyard. One of my favorite areas, this is where I do all my daddy daughter talks with my oldest daughter, is this cool fire pit area here. Used to be an in-ground trampoline. We're moving the trampoline inside one of the rooms will become a trampoline room. That's for a later video. Uh, grill area and all of that. But I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this. Thank you so much for watching all of the silly YouTube videos. And let's see, what are the other main questions? Yes, I used to be a magician. I was a magician for 20 years and I would travel around. I did uh, commercials and I did corporate events and casinos. I even toured with the country music band Florida Georgia Line uh, where we did Madison Square Garden and crazy stuff where I did magic in the stands for all of the fans. And we'd bring a camera out even if it was the back row of the balcony, like really crazy stuff. But when 2020 hit and pandemic and all live shows went away, I transitioned to doing things online and what videos did the best were not magic videos, they were actually really silly building videos, crafts, art, and I became a spray paint artist. I always had an interest in it, but the videos gave me the ability and freedom to really take it as far as I wanted to go and start destroying my house for silly videos. So that is the long and short of it. Thank you for visiting my house. We are planning on doing a lot more crazy stuff to the house, but for now, uh, looks like it is, what are we making? Oh, Dinner? Steak and eggs. Steak and eggs. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna eat this. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time uh, when we put a secret passageway into, I don't know, the phone booth? Phone booth needs to do a little bit more than it does right now. Or, take a ride on the horse. Let me see if my bride wants to say anything. Anything you wanna say? 
if they if they're watching this long, they've been watching for a very long time. So what I do we love say? This house is the best. We just have fun in here. Can we go to your house next? Sure. Her house doesn't have a foam pit or uh, a trap door or secret passageways, but it's our spa retreat. It's no work. No work over there. Just uh, just wonderful times and relaxing and all that. Okay, uh, so that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the share button, the like. I don't know what these YouTubers like to say, but whatever you want to. I'll see you next time.